Hey guys, it's CSFan001 here for part number 59 of Let's Play Far Cry 5 Blind. Last time, it's been like a week, or not quite a week, but a while since I recorded. Uh, I don't really remember what we did, I just know that we made some progress here in uh, Jacob's region, I believe is his name. Now, game, if you'd like to let me get into my plane, I would appreciate that, because this is a brand new plane I just bought. Uh, this thing looked really cool. It was like $9,000, so I really, really hope that it's worth it. But this thing looks pretty awesome. So there was a little fight going on over here. I solved that earlier, so we don't have a problem. So this thing has bombs, machine guns, and missiles, as usual, or rockets. And this time, we're going to start out, if it's still on the map, which it doesn't appear to be anymore for some reason... We are going to head over here to meet Herc. So we're finally going to meet up with Herc. That should be uh, quite a bit of fun. He's always an interesting character. And I know there's like a trophy related to him and, you know, there's a challenge related to him. So why not? Missile. Oh, that's awesome. That's great. Die, Eden's Gate. Just drop a nice missile onto their heads. Okay, I think I'm going to need to circle around here so I can actually try to land this thing. Brand new plane, I like. Do not crash it today. Uh, I don't know if that's going to end up working properly, so I'm just going to have to jump. Uh, can I jump out, please? Why is it... Oh, it's square. I was hitting the wrong button. My bad in the wrong button, because like I said, it's been a while since I've played. So, today we're meeting up with Herc. Also, I'm currently playing with my crappy backup headphones, because I can't find my regular ones. I think I might have left them at home. Uh, regardless, it doesn't matter, because at the time it's being recorded, I'll be able to go, like, get them soon enough, so it's not really that big a deal. Anyway, we are going to see what Herc is up to. Herc Drubman Sr. Oh, wait, is that Herc? Wait, what? That's not normal Herc. registered voter? Ah, don't matter. I need help of a different sort. Let's get to the point. You see that steaming pile of disappointment over there praying? That's my loin fruit, Herc Jr. Summer's in the coal bucket. He takes after his mama. Stupid some bitch went and lost my campaign truck, Nancy. So named after the greatest first lady to ever serve this fine country, of course. If them Obama loving lib <laughs> find out I can't look after my own property, I can kiss this Senate run goodbye. Now, seeing as you're on my land and I didn't kill you, even though it's well within my rights as a red blooded American gun owner, I say you owe me. <laughs> Help numb nuts get my truck back so I can start focusing on my campaign again. Thanks for making all of us gun owners look bad. Although I do agree, I don't really know much about the first ladies of the past, so I can't really speak favorably or disfavorably about any of them because I don't know enough about them, so I'm not going to bother with that. I don't want to go on assuming nobody's gender or nothing. I mean, I don't mean all my homies, dude or bro or man. Well, I am a man, so don't worry. I don't think I look vegetalia or penisless. Oh, Herc. Have we met before? Dang, man, my prayers have been answered. I got a direct line to that sweet little monkey god whose heart hangs in heaven. Well, I guess since you're an angel working here on Earth for the Monkey King, that you already know I gotta get my daddy's truck back. I mean, he's real butt sore. But if we get it back, he'll let me sleep in my bed again. And I gotta tell you, man, it's getting real cold outside. Never mind them wood ticks crawling all up in my junk, threatening me with Lyme disease and whatnot. So come on, man. Help me get my daddy's truck back. Let's make dust before the old okay, I thought that back at that point, I thought that out in that region of the world, it's more, or the region of the U.S., it's more, uh, uh, what's it called? There, how do I get in? There we go. I thought it was more Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever than Lyme Disease. I thought Lyme Disease was more East Coast concentrated. I guess it could go anywhere, though. All right, so her, I don't really remember being that major of a character in Far Cry 4. 
If I remember correctly, all he really did was you played as Herc if you went into co-op with someone. And that's all I really remember about him. I think he was in like maybe two missions or so, two or three missions where you had to basically go rescue him all the time because he was an idiot. And I agree with his dad on that. Herc's an idiot, but he's a, he seems like a nice guy. I mean, it just seemed like a good idea. I mean, they had all these guns, food, fine-ass females, and I mean, those are... Three guns, three food, fine-ass females. Hey, I, I'm all for that, too. I'm all for that, but not when it's the crazy murderous death cult. They said, sign up right here, friend. Then, <laughs> then, they start listing off all their dang rules, man. No fornicating. Turns out that means fucking. No, no <laughs> you wouldn't know that, did you? No, thank you. Well, I've seen tobacco, so I guess that's okay then for them, because I saw that in like the very first or couple episodes. You don't gotta worry about a thing, man. I got a nine step plan to get this truck made. A nine step plan. I thought it was just. It should be step one, you do nothing. Step two, oh wait, he's actually got it. Step two, pray for someone else to solve your problem. Well, that's actually exactly what I would have expected, so I'm surprised. I called that. Uh, cheeseburger is, of course, with us. We'll see what he can murder and eat. Oh, there's a uh, side mission up here. I think that's a... Uh, I think that's a clutch Nixon, so I'm not really sure that can help me. It's sad because I can't really hear him all that well when I'd like to just because of only one of my two earbuds actually working. Uh, at least I have something, though, to record with. All right. Kirk, after this mission, I will be recruiting you into my team just because I need another partner and you have challenges and stuff for me to do. So yeah, Herc was always, in those couple missions he was in, he was known for always being a problem just because he never really accomplished anything and just always got himself, like, captured and stuff. And he's getting drunk. Oh, yep, he's he's a, uh, he's chugging the beer, shotgunning the beer. Oh, I didn't mean to actually throw that. I meant to hit this. And we've got four, five, six. Ooh, that's that's a number of guys out there. Okay, let's see if we can get rid of. Uh... Okay, good. He uh, he's down. I thought for a second he had, he was gonna survive all that. Okay, do not want you on that machine gun. He's dead now. Actually, that was a really good shot. It was kind of delayed. Oh, Herc, is, is he using a rocket launcher? Where'd you get the R... Oh, that's not even the RPG. That's the AT-4. Where'd you get that, man? That's awesome. I, I want that. Actually, I really don't because I don't really need it. Once I can finish off my pistol takedowns and switch back to the, uh, to the grenade launcher instead of having a pistol. Like, I only need to get one more pistol takedown and I'll get that challenge done, so... That's not really that big a deal. And Cheeseburger can grab a few kills here as well, which is always a good thing. And distract all the enemies. Good Cheeseburger. That's a good boy. I think it's... Yeah, I think we confirmed that it's a boy. Oh, crap. He knocked me down. I could have gotten the sidearm takedown on him. I think I'm probably going to keep Cheeseburger as one of my permanent followers, though, just because he is really, really effective. Can you med kits, uh, poker? Okay, man, now it's time Let's go. What do we need to do? Truck's actually all the way down yonder, probably more. Down there? Why didn't you say that before? I mean, it's not that big a deal. Ah, uh, is that really that good of an idea? That's also not in the direction of that, but whatever. I guess it's Herc, so I guess I shouldn't be that surprised. Oh, okay, there's a second zip line. Fine, so it's one of these uh, zip line parks again. Hey, that's fine by me. These are fun. I mean, zip lines are fun. Zip lining can be fun. You know, unless you're uh, unless you're watching that South Park episode, which was actually pretty funny. It was the one where they decide to go zip lining, but it turns into an episode of like one of those Animal Planet shows, like I Shouldn't Be Alive or whatever it's called, or 
or I survived, or, you know, stuff like that. Oh, guys. You see that? There's boy down by the water there. I might actually be able to get a death from below here, which I have never pulled off. Uh, let's see. I want to really see if I can pull that off, because that's the first time I've seen really a good chance of doing so. Because he's right on the edge of the water, so if he doesn't see me, the water might not be deep enough, though. No, it is. It is. He's like he's like pissing off the side or something. This might actually work. R three ledge takedown. Hell yeah, guys! That's the first time I've pulled one of those off all game. I will take it gladly because it's new, something I haven't done before. And I think Kurt's just going crazy down here, which is fine. I pulled off. Okay, you're just gonna use an RPG. Yeah, good job there. That's all you all you know how to use is an RPG. I mean, if I hadn't been an RPG ammo, I might think the same thing, but whatever. So, are we gonna take? Yeah, it is your truck. Hey, this is a pretty sweet truck. And it's sort of got that military, it's a little bit of a military Humvee design, because it's got the machine gun and such on top, but it's not, it's, it's very Jeep, like, American, patriotic, I guess you could say. Can of whoop ass. Ah, oh, this is another great character. And I may have to, I don't know if I'm going to have to mute this because of the current music that's playing. I don't know if it's quite going to be loud enough, though, to be that big of an issue. Good thing is, I do have this M60, and I have the thing that allows me to repair. Uh, isn't there a way? Yes, that's what I thought. Like, I thought I could actually switch up to that. That makes sense. I was about to say, if I had to do that with just the M60, that was going to be a little bit harder. But no, we got an infinite ammo machine gun instead. Now, we all know how well this worked out last time we had a mission just like this. It did not work out well. I was a little inebriated at the time, but also it kept glitching, and that was a true glitch. And apparently that mission has recorded a few other glitches on people, so that one particular mission is known for being a little bit buggy, which is unfortunate, because, I mean, the game hasn't really been all that glitchy for the most part, even for an Ubi shit game, which is really kind of surprising, because, I mean, you know, Ubisoft has actually been doing some good work over the last couple years, because they had... You had Far Cry 5 here, which is one of, if not maybe, the best game in the series. It's definitely up there. Uh, then there is... What was the uh, other ones? They did Assassin's Creed Origins, took a year off from Assassin's Creed, and apparently that game is one of the best in that series, at least in a long time. I'm not personally into the Assassin's Creed franchise, so I wouldn't know, but I've heard that it's good. And then uh, South Park, The Fractured Butthole, that game was very good as well. I just kind of wish it had been maybe a little bit more content to it for release day. Because, I mean, I got the Platinum Trophy, like, within 72 hours of the game releasing, so that's maybe not the best thing in the world. Alright, we brought your truck back, so what are you going to say? Are you going to thank me about it? You better thank me for it. Daddy, check it out, dude. Daddy, check what? I'm pretty sure I did all the work, but... Well, actually, no, that's really not true. That's really not true, because he actually did a lot of work in that. Well, Deputy, you kept your word. You know, I did some thinking while you were gone. This whole Senate run is too much for me to handle on my own. I'm in need of a campaign manager, and you're just the kind of... I don't know anything about managing the campaign. First task I've got is to take Junior with you wherever you go. So I don't have to hear him praying to that goddamn monkey king no more. Second task is, uh, well, uh, let me think on it a bit. Uh, you do that, soon-to-be senator. You do that. Anyway, that mission's complete, and that must mean we have our last follower with us. Yes, he is. So he is going to join us now. That's awesome. So now we have... Oh, he's called in the Chosen. I, I think that means we're probably going to get captured again here, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of the white tails, well, some of them weren't so 
sure about bringing you on board. They're sure now. Not because of anything I said, but because what you've done. Actions speak louder. I mean, we've nearly liberated this region in terms of like the story missions. I mean, there's a lot more missions after that. Dang. Okay, I want to see if he calls us and, like, sends in a, a party after us. If not, I think it might just be the Chosen, so maybe it's not that big a deal. That would be kind of nice if that's all he does and we don't have to go through another, like, captured mission. Yeah, he's called in the Chosen to hunt you down in planes. Maybe that is all that's going to happen. Okay. Uh, what's your next mission Got while we're here? For you. Do you know what gerrymandering is? Of course you don't. You're a regular American just like me. It's boring egghead stuff involved. I do know what it is, actually. Districts. Blah, blah, blah. Anyways, the election's coming up, and them eggheads tell me I'm fucked in the polls because those goddamn Peggy's ain't gonna be voting for me. Say what you will about lunatic cult movements, but the bottom line is they vote. Now, the eggheads say the only chance I got at winning would be to go back in time and gerrymander them district lines so the Peggy's ain't counted. And that got me to thinking I could just as easily win if them Peggy's just didn't show up to vote. Now, I'm not telling you how to go about such a thing, wink, wink, but a permanent solution to my temporary problem would work best if you catch my meaning. Obviously, I'm not saying to murder anyone because that's still illegal. It is still technically illegal, right? But if there were less Peggy's around because they somehow tripped and fell on several dozens of bullets, it would tripped be tripped and fell on case. several dozens of bullets. The district in question is up at the crossroads by the Grill Street Diner. You can take my idiot son with you. He's not good at much, but he can shoot okay. And you know, if this were ever to blow back on us, it would be good to have Patsy. I don't even think he'd get jail time on account of him being a little touch. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? Get moving. Love how he just talks about his son like that, right? With his son right there. Oh, make hope great again. Yeah, I was wondering when the political stuff might start coming in started out in this video and it's probably going to continue on as long as we're dealing with these guys I've decided with a lot of that what I might end up doing is sort of making a like aftermath video after I'm done with the let's play just to discuss some of that stuff and like my views and my thoughts on the game and stuff but to be honest it's really it's not that political overall like I know that that's what a lot of people were actually complaining about because they thought it wasn't really the most uh, political, like they were sort of expecting it to be. So that's actually, that's interesting. A lot of people, I think, got kind of mad about that for trying not to offend that many people or trying to offend everyone as well is also a possibility. Uh, so we can buy a perk real quick and I'm going to do that just because it's one of the few perks we still need. There's really not a whole lot of perks left that we need to get. We just need to get these four, which are a bit expensive. Uh, that one, which is kind of useless to me. Uh, this one, which is also kind of useless to me. And then, of course, all the ones related to the different characters. But again, that one's really not that useful either. And when we look at challenges, we got to get uh, dynamite kills, uh, Molotov kills, Look at that, we got our first of two Death From Below kills, which is really, really cool. I mean, I didn't know if I'd ever get around to doing that without resetting the outposts. Chain takedown, pistol takedown, and I know I'm going to reset the outposts once we take out the last one just because of one or two of the other trophies. So that's no real issue. So, guys, I don't really know what I want to do next time. I think we'll probably just keep working on this Herc uh, sideline. This has been fun so far, and I wouldn't mind doing some more of it. Uh... Yeah, we'll just go ahead and do that. That that would make the most sense. See you guys then.